I just want people to understand that it's not only Ukraine's problem, you know, whole uh, world border is in jeopardy. Now on Local 5, tensions in the Ukraine hit home here in Northeast Wisconsin. Families worried for their loved ones while experts warn of a financial ripple effect throughout the markets and at the gas pump. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Michelle McCormack. And I'm Tom Zaleski. Brand new tonight at 10. The situation in Ukraine is escalating as Russian President Vladimir Putin has recognized two separatist regions in eastern Ukraine. And now for those who once lived there and call northeast Wisconsin home, agonizing worry for their family members caught in the crosshairs. Local 5's Danielle Zulkowski has their story. To say that I'm concerned is uh, not saying anything, you know, I'm basically terrified. Valentin Tereshenko left Ukraine 21 years ago this month to chase the American dream. And he says having his family so close to the conflict has been awful. You cannot concentrate, you know, you're thinking about your family. It's, it's really tough, tough to talk to my parents, you know, trying to comfort them. You know, they, they really don't know what's going to be happening. Uh, they, my mom is in tears, you know, and they, they just feel like they like a city in docks. Svetlana Nadalenko is another Ukrainian native chasing the American dream. She owns Picky Glam clothing store in Grand Chute and hopes for peace in her home country. My family is still there, so I talk with them every day. And um, right now we hope that Russia will help to resolve the con conflict. But as she watches the danger grow, she fears for the family that stayed behind. Always concerned. That's why we originally moved from Ukraine, because it was too dangerous, me and my little daughter. Tereshenko says his parents will not flee, despite being just 10 miles from the northern Ukrainian-Russian border. Ukrainians, they're going to fight, fight, fight for their freedom. They're going to fight for their independence. They're going to fight for democracy. And even my parents, they are pushing 70 years old. They said they're going to stay there. They don't want to come in and flee. They, they want to protect their land. Tereshenko says stricter sanctions are needed from the West. He encourages everyone to join him in calling their elected representatives. In Little Shoot, Danielle Solkowski, Local 5 News. Thanks, Danielle. St. Matthew's Orthodox Church in Green Bay will hold a prayer service for peace in Ukraine tomorrow at 6.